20 minutes. This is crazy. And, like, the last couple episodes of Coliseum were, uh, like, perfect. I might actually be able to catch Wingle in that grass. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll check while I fight this. Or while I pick these berries. Because picking berries takes forever. Like, seriously. There is Wingle, but it's only 10%. Oh, it's a lady in Emerald, that's right. I can't remember any of their names. Lady Cindy, yeah. I'm not sure if I said it before it came up on screen, but I swear I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> I actually remembered. And the other one is Rich Boy Winston. I do like Absorb for the, uh, the healing. Although I'm gonna get bullet seed once I finish the woods. I wanna use growl. Yeah, or tail whip, that's fine. I didn't wanna get attack because then I would ruin all that healing that I got with absorb. Okay, so we're going into Petalburg Woods. Level 12, that's good. Uh, let me look at the catch, the uh, encounter tables for Puddleberg Woods. Um, okay, 5% tail, I don't care about that. Silcoon and Cascoon will be, would be good to catch. The main thing I'm looking for here is Slack Off. I actually want to use Slack Off. I was going to use wit. I, I mean, I'm either gonna have to. I gotta pick one normal type, and the other one I'm gonna have to grind. And I picked Slack Off over Wismer because, um, for a couple reasons. Uh, I've never used Slack Off before, so I want to give it a try, and also because I can catch, uh, Loudred at a pretty high level, so. Not a big deal. I mean, Slack Off has a really high catch rate, which is nice. Because that's Cascoon. To avoid detection by its enemies, it hides motionless beneath large leaves and in the gaps of branches. It also attaches dead leaves to its body for camouflage. Does a cocoon really have that many enemies? Cocoon nut. <laughs> I'm clever. There. Oh wow, second encounter. Lucky me. Uh, what is Slackoth's defense? So I can get an idea of whether this is likely to one-shot it. Oh, 60. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, no problem. Ooh. Oh. That's interesting. We will have to deal with loafing. I'm gonna try and use this premier ball. Actually, I should have like a 100% chance to catch. So I get a uh, swag, swag slack off, and a swag ball, premier ball, more, more formally known as a swag ball. It sleeps, sleeps virtually all day and night. It doesn't change its nest its entire life, but it sometimes travels great distances by swimming in rivers. How does it get back? I mean, rivers only go one way. How does it get back to its nest? I gotta think of a name for a Pokemon that I'm actually gonna use. Um, uh, I'm going to name it Robbie after Robbie Rotten, the laziest person in Lazy Town. Potion. Okay, uh, if this is Silcoon, that would be awesome. No, it's Cascoon again. Alright, do their encounter rates vary by game? I'm going to go ahead and kill it because that's a mad experience. Oh, I'm asleep. Ha! Uh, Silk. No, it's ten they're both 10% in all the games. Jeez, oh, it's gonna be so hard. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of there. It's gonna be so hard by the time I get around to attacking it. So, she tells me about being a thief. Nobody show her Colosseum. I'm 
going to heal up, get rid of that sleep, get out, Robbie. Just going to preemptively change the sprite while I'm sitting through the uh, thing here. Level five. Uh, I mean, they're all pretty bad. I'm gonna take out Wormy. All right, Robbie, you have a jolly nature. Oh, that's awesome! Nice. Eleven attack. Eleven attack at level five is not bad. Uh, unfortunately, this thing will be insanely hard to level early on. Uh, I might not even worry about it all that much. Let me check his defensive stats. 21 HP, 12 defense, that's not bad. I don't really have any other level 5s to compare it to. It's a lot better than Lotad's. Better than Meryl's. Oh, wait. I'm kind of... That was kind of a brain-dead maneuver. Messed up my display. Fortunately, Meryl's pretty easy to find. Okay. Uh, I guess I can run through this grass on the off chance that I encounter a wingle. Nope. This grass. We get one encounter. It's a worm pole. I guess I can test Robbie's metal. Yeah. Boy, is that is that his butt? I gotta deal with loafing turns. Level 18. Okay, that's... Ooh, that's not bad. So, it'll be awesome as Vigoroth. Uh, because no Truant. And decent stats. Uh, 90 speed. That's... <laughs> Vigoroth... Wow. Robbie's gonna be a beast when he evolves into Vigoroth. And then is gonna turn into Slacking, who has Truant again, but has absolutely bananas stats 160 attack like like that's just not fair that 34 experience points sure is nice although I don't know if it's worth it having Robbie fight. As much as switching like this is a pain, it's what's gotta be done. God, slacking is so powerful. Probably the best hyper beam user in the game. Uh, like, 160 attack. <laughs> to put that into perspective, before Generation 3, the highest at base attack in the game was a tie between Dragonite and Tyranitar at 134. That jump, that's just nuts. Uh, between 134 and 160. Like, that's just so much damage. Um... Although, it's still not the highest, because there is also... There is also Deoxys, who has 180, I think. In attack form. I play Deoxys in attack mode. 
But boy, th this thing cannot evolve soon enough. Slacking. But then you gotta deal with Truant. Which, I mean, it's not a huge deal if you play it right. I mean, it kind of it forces itself out because you don't want it just sitting there. But one way or another, there's a turn that you don't get to attack. So I'm not, not too worried about ending up under-leveled because I think the main reason why I got under-leveled in, in Sapphire was because I was trying to do Armaldo and Flygon at the same time, which wasn't a good idea. Or, I mean, it's what I had to do, but it didn't work out for me. Where was it? I can't remember whether it was Armaldo or Cradilly. Oh boy, Robbie's level 6. Let me get one attack. To get a Parliz heal. Uh, I forgot, did we catch Shroomish? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. We definitely didn't because... Because Robbie was the second one I encountered. The second Pokemon I encountered and the first was Cascoon. Oh, Robbie, you're slow. Uh, uh, this Poochan is gonna wreck you. There we go. Um well, I'm not gonna look for it right now because this guy's gonna give us a great ball that he wants us to use on Shroomish. And expect this to be a long, leisurely playthrough because I've got to get so many Pokemon. Uh, I got to get Skitty. I haven't bothered to catch Skitty yet, and that's like a two percent. Although it does sometimes swarm, I don't really want to have to wait for that. I'd rather catch it like now, or like right as soon as I get out of the, or I guess after I beat Roxanne and I go up to whatever route that is, one sixteen, one fifteen. Your sand attacks don't got nothing on me. Got one eighty for winning. So another thing that's nice about this game is that we get the amulet coin before we beat the game, <laughs> unlike Colosseum. You have to like beat the game and do half the post game before you even get the amulet coin. I guess I can keep looking for Shroomish. Although I should check my Pokedex and make absolutely sure that I didn't already catch one. Oh, there's Silcoon who I also need. Got that little yellow eye that I never noticed. Oh, you know, I can put these guys asleep. Oh, well, I got a loaf first. Oh, whoever came up with Truant can just go to hell. I hate it. Although it's nice when you're fighting, uh... When you're fighting Norman. I'll attack him one more time just to make sure. Yeah, this should be, like, guaranteed. Oh, no! Oh, don't shed. Shed skin. But yeah, Slack Off just makes every battle take forever. Not gonna use that Great Ball because I told him that I'd use it on True Mesh. Oh! Fortunately, it's gonna go to sleep, so I should do it.
I do get at least one turn of sleep. Bada bing. I should add a national Pokedex counter to my display since that's what I'm doing ultimately. See, it prepares for evolution using the energy it stored while it was a wormhole. It keeps watch over the surroundings with its two eyes. It's okay. Uh, don't have Shroomish still. I get another Silcoon immediately. That's nice, that means I, I don't have to evolve Wormholes. Now that I have both Silcoon and Cascoon. <laughs> Shroomish, where are you? Fifteen percent, it says. So it should be like one in six or something. Uh, and also, I need to look at Slackoth's sprite to make sure that I'm not looking at its butt. Uh, no, okay. Oh, I guess that's. Well, it's, it's just like it doesn't have hair on its butt. group it's in because it seems to be going pretty slow. Yeah, it's in the slow leveling rate. Ugh, that's gonna be fun. It was one of my favorite pages on Bulbapedia is the uh, leveling up the the experience page that has all of the level up rates. I wish the lines on the graph were smaller so I could See what I guess. Scaled by the cube. Am I not finding Shroomish? This is weird. It's like, yeah, I already have Breloom in Sapphire, but I would have to like breed it. I don't want to do that. There you are. Yeah, crazy Shroom. So I'm gonna scratch it. Uh, boy, this is gonna take a while. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was not good. Okay, so... No. Loaf. Should have named him Bread. Bread is loafing around. And I'm going to put him to sleep. I'm, I guess I'll like heal or something. While I wait for Yawn to work. After that, it should be, I, there should be zero chance that the Great Ball doesn't work. There, I, I fulfilled the Devon employee's wish and caught Shroomish with a Great Ball. It loves to eat damp, composted soil and forests. If you enter a forest after a long rain, you can see many shroomish feasting on composted soil. So it eats dirt. Your name shall be... Oops. Don't want to use lowercase letters. Eats. Dirt. Po 
Pokedex already up to 11, only an hour into the, the file, so... Oh, and there's another one right away. So, uh... I'll be completing that Pokedex sometime before I die at this rate. Especially since I already have most of the legendaries in other games. It's like, I mean, yeah, if you count the Pokedex that I have in all the other games, it's like way more than 11. It's probably like in the 200s. Um, what, can Robbie take this guy on his own? Well, I'm going to put him to sleep. So that he can't attack me when I'm loafing. Each life. Okay. Oh, he wakes up immediately? Give me a break. Yeah, Robbie isn't gonna succeed here. He's just too lazy. That Jolly Nature is really good. Like, as a slacking, he's gonna be crazy fast. It's because slacking, despite having, like, a reputation as a big, stupid brute, is actually very fast. He has base 100 speed, which is, like, in Gen 3, base 100 speed is really good. I mean, Sceptile is like one of the fastest things in the game, and it's only like 120 or something. Got another Ninkata. I've been getting a lot of people cycling through my viewers. I guess Emerald, as a game, attracts more players than Ruby or Sapphire or Fire Red or Leaf Green or Colosseum. I should have done Emerald first! Oh, that actually would have made a lot of sense on a lot of levels, but I didn't want to do... I didn't want to do, um... Like, Emerald and then Ruby. It'd have been, like... A downgrade. I wanted to build up to the best game. Encore. I guess they, they mean for you to, like play on Truant, so like, you can encore them doing a bad move so then they can't hurt you while you're Truanting, but honestly, it'd be better if he just didn't have Truant. Can't escape! Ah, why do I even have you out front? There we go. So up here we get one of the most important TMs in this run. Since I started with Trico, we get Bullet Seed, which honestly makes Absorb totally obsolete. Absorb has like 20 power, Bullet Seed has 10, so it matches, well, let's see, with, with Stab it's 15, so yeah, it's 30. Uh, so it, it matches Absorb with two hits, which is guaranteed. And then all the rest is just bonus, making Absorb look dumb. And I don't need Leer. I don't really need Pound either, because I have Quick Attack, but I don't need Leer. Two Oran Berries. Uh, oh boy, which route are we on? We're on now we're on Route 104. For north. I would like to learn about berries. Give me that. Give me that Whalmer Pale. Oh, she doesn't. She's not the one who gives it to you? How about you? There we go. A Whalemer Pale. They give you that before you even have like any chance of encountering or seeing a Whalemer, except by trade. A Talcine Berry. Exactly one hour into the run. Uh, go over here, take on 
rich boy Winstonio. With his zigzer zigger zagger, his spiky boy. Oh wait, now we got bullet seed. Three times. Oh yeah. Hit three times. That bullet seed is going to put Roxanne in the ground, guaranteed. Although her nose pass has kind of high special defense. Oh boy, that'll be... Ugh, I'm going to have to catch a nose pass. That one's no fun. I do already have Feebas and Milotic, fortunately, in Ruby. Boy, it has been a long time since I've touched that Ruby cart. I was like going to save again. I've been saving constantly. It's good to save frequently, but keep it under control. Yeah, so fortunately I won't have to do any of that Feebas crap. Um, so yeah, that'll probably actually be the hardest thing that I have to catch is Nose Pass. Uh, Skitty will be annoying, but mostly just... I, in fact, I won't even bother doing it here. I'll just do it on my own time. You don't have to watch me do that. Uh, Trying to think if there's anyone else who'll be really bad. The Re I'll have to get their Reggies, but that'll be fun. I like their Reggies, and I like their little quest. Uh, Snow Run shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm not sure. It is. You can only do it when Shoal Cave is at low tide, and I'm not sure. Since all my streams are at the same time. I'm not sure if that's low tide or high tide. 8, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 10.30 or whenever I stop. I guess I can check. Shoal cave. Oh, I've never seen... Huh. Well, Bulbapedia has a picture of, like, the shoal cave from overhead that has, like, the entire structure that you can't really see. And it's funny that they have the Gen 3 version of it, too, not the Gen 6 version. So let's see, this is a double battle, so we're going to want to put Robbie and Reptilicus next to each other so they can both, both my fighters can help. I can heal Robbie. Who's just gonna be there loafing while uh, Reptilicus does all the work? Robbie has no shame. Some geography tides. Uh, oh yeah, the the whole time that I'm streaming is high tide. So yeah, I won't be getting snow runt on stream unless I go down there and save and then start the stream. Since I'm pretty sure it doesn't like flood and drown you or anything. Just trying to take out this low tide ASAP for no particular reason, nothing then. Oh boy, no, this is not going to kill. Oh, it killed! Whoa! Robbie packs a punch. I guess I guess it's stabbed, so I should have gone for C dot though. This is gonna take a while, especially since I'm not getting help, not getting much help from Robbie. Oh, I'm just gonna scratch. It's dead next turn, it's not a big deal. Okay, Robbie got level 8. Still only plus one attack, that's kind of mean. Okay. Got Fisher Dude. Uh, Lepa Berries. Those Lepa Berries are good. Those might be worth planting. Because it's like later on, I'm going to be doing like these whole long roots. 
uh, trying to make it through on PP, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a Lepa Berry. Only one, because on the off chance that I mess it up and lose it, I don't want to, uh... Um... Not have Lepa Berries anymore. We gotta beat Magikarp, dude. Fisherman Ivan. You see Ivan. Nice. Although, boy, is this even worth the experience? It is not. Let's just have, um, Reptilicus wreck them. Okay, Amazon Prime Day is on, so excuse my shopping while <laughs> streaming while I try to shop. Amazon Prime Day. Shop all deals. Why change Pokemon? No. I'm busy being a slave to consumerism. Uh, no, this is all crap. I don't want this. I'm not being paid by Amazon, I legitimately no, I don't Okay, yeah, all all look at looking at all the deals isn't doing it for me. Uh this is all crap I don't need. Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my way to like the next battle. Ooh, the mark. Yeah, we definitely wanna buy stuff. We can buy super potions already, so I can only afford And buy like two Pokeballs. Although I'm gonna have a lot of money when I beat when I come out of the gym, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll go ahead and heal. So let's see, there's a Nintendo Switch carrying case on sale according to Twitter. Um, for $13.59. Ah, but the one that I wanted is not. Oh, that sucks. Maybe I'll check back tomorrow and see if that has changed. I want, like, the big one, the big $40 one, because it is... It has, like, room for the dock and everything, so I can, like, legit bring it with me when I go places. Also, Pokemon. That's happening, too. Just, just some more switch training. I wonder if... Uh, yeah, it's like, we'll, we'll get the EXP share, but by then, um... Robbie probably won't be... will be, like, fighting on his own by then. He might even be... Like, it's pretty likely that he'll be a Vigoroth by then, because he only has to be level 18, and... Well... Let's see, you only have to be... I could... What I could do is I could uh, deliver the letter to Steven ASAP. Ooh, double battle. And then... Um, and then go right back here and get the EXP share. And then, like, fight Brawly with it. Anyway, let's see here. Oh man, King Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 is. I, I already bought that. I should have waited. Uh, oh, King Hearts 2.8. I don't have that yet. Uh, he's just gonna move. Let's see. Oh, wow, Queen of Time 3D for uh, fourteen ninety Let's 
SanDisk 64 gigabyte micro SD card, which I could use to expand the storage on my Switch. For $22.99, that's not bad. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for 20 bucks. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D for 20 bucks. Mario and Luigi Dream Dream Team for 20 bucks. Okay, so we're at Roxanne. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave Robbie out front. Save the game though. That this is not free. I mean, well, all things considered, it's pretty free, but... Since if, uh... Reptilicus takes a pounding from Nosepass, he can just... I can just switch into one of the other, like, four things that I have that aren't fighting... And heal Reptilicus and then put him back in, so... Not too much to be afraid of, but, you know... One thing that sucks about using Slack Off is that, like, normal type... I mean, first of all, it sucks against these first two gems. Like, stands no chance he'll just die. Uh, and even from then, it really doesn't have a whole lot going for it. I mean, boy. Watson is going to be a nightmare. I do not look forward to that at all. <laughs> wow, what am I going to do against Watson? Ugh. Here it does Slack Off get anything that hits steel types? Mud Slap, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. You can use Absorb to get health back. That's one reason why I didn't just overwrite Absorb. It still has that niche. Oh, look at that! Right back at almost full. And that's a level 15, a level 10 slack off, and a level 15 Trico. Here comes Nose Pass. I still want Robbie to get the experience. It looks like uh, Watson's going to be really bad. Because I don't really have anything for him. Unless I, like, picked up a number, another, ooh, five times. Oh! Five times? Yes! Wow! Reptilicus, you are a pro. That was like a one in a hundred, hitting five times and getting a crit to one shot that nose pass. What a god. So I get the attack badge boost. I honestly, I don't even know how badge boosts work in this game. I've got no idea. City. Get out of the way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! So I guess those are like submarine parts that they need to finish the submarine. This game has a plot, I guess. I'm told. I'm led to believe. But the game really screws you over with Watson. It doesn't even really give you anything to fight him with. Uh, I guess like Geo Dude. And Auron has Mud Slap. But other than that, it's like unless you started with uh, Mud Kip. Okay, so in this grass, 
Okay, this is Route 116. Uh, we can get Ninkata, which would be nice. Oh, Route 116. Um, Ninkata at 20%, Wismer at 30, 20%, although I can catch that in, um, in the Rust Earth Tunnel. Uh, Abra 10%, which would be nice, although the odds that I actually succeed in catching one are pretty slim. And I think they're at a higher catch rate in uh, Granite Cave. Skiddy at 2%, which would be awesome if I found that. But more likely I have to wait. Oh. Okay, we got this. That Machop really held in there. I think Machop has pretty good special defense. Machop and Machamp are like the OG tanks. Mr. Bugs. My bug Pokemon are tough. <sighs> oh, the Zigster picked something up. Oops. Huh. There's no running from a trainer. Oh, yeah, it's because the D pad screwed around. Okay, giving them seeds. Ah, getting a lot of it. Hit two times. Let's see here. Bullet. Strike. There's a 37.5% chance that it'll hit two times, a 37.5% chance it'll hit three times, a 12.5% chance it'll hit four times, and a 12.5% chance it'll hit five times. Okay. Okay. I see. 